What up folks, my name's Alex, this is Mr. Alex Tech, and today we're talking about the Falcon Eyes F7 Fold RGB LED light. Now if your first question is, can I use it as a key light in a pinch? To answer that question, I'm currently using it now as my key light for this video. It's set to 5500K and about 60% power, and I'm using the included diffuser just to soften it up a little bit. Now to be clear, Falcon Ice did send this to me for free to review, but I have no agreement with them under no stipulation to say anything at all, so all the views and opinions are entirely my own as always. Right, let's get the boring stuff out of the way and we'll cover some of the key facts. The light is rated at 24 watts, producing 11,200 lux at 0.3 meters and has a CRI of 96. The white colors range from 2,500 Kelvin all the way up to 9,000 Kelvin. Plus, of course, there is the full RGB LEDs on there, so you've got a full range of colors. You can create whatever color you want. There are also some fun scene modes included and some Roscoe and Lee color filter modes. It's made pretty much entirely of metal and it comes in at 685 grams. Now there's actually two batteries included that are non-removable and they're rated at 3,800 milliamp each, giving you a total of 7,600 milliamps. That'll give you an estimated runtime at full power of 150 minutes, which I came very close to in my own testing. And all the charging is done via the Type-C port on the device, of which there are two, and it's currently priced at $269 or £259. So for those familiar with the original F7, is the Fold just two F7s bolted together? Yes, pretty much that's what it is. However, they've also added some additional key features like the ability to control the speed and the power within the scene modes, which you couldn't do before, Bluetooth, and you can connect and use the app on your phone, which I'll cover later. You can check the timestamps, everything's timestamped down in the description below. Cool, with all that out of the way, let's have a look at what you actually get in the box. So of course you get the F7 Fold itself, which we'll have a look at shortly. You get this handy little carry case, it's a little bit cheap, but it serves a purpose. And inside you also get these two honeycomb grids. They slide onto the device and just help to direct that light a little bit more. You also get a shower cap style white diffuser to help soften things up. There are two Type-C charging cables in the box, however, there are no power bricks or plugs at all. You also get this ball joint arm tripod mount on each end, really handy for using a cage. And you get this cold shoe mount if you're looking to mount the light on top of your camera for a run and gun style solution. Now, in my box, I've also got the Falcon Eyes Honeycomb 9-inch foldable grid. That's not in there by default. There's a separate package you can buy which does have it, or you can buy it separately for about 20 quid. It just fits over the entire unit, just helps to direct that light just that little bit more. So let's take a closer look at it, shall we? Now, as you can see, it is of a full metal construction. Feels really, really well put together. It's built like a bit of a tank. 700 grams, so it's relatively hefty. You're not gonna have too many issues in terms of it breaking if you just throw it into a bag. Feels really, really durable. As you can see, you've got your LED panels front and back. You've also got a quarter inch tripod mount on the top and bottom. However, one of those becomes inaccessible when you actually open the device up. And then you've got all your controls over on the right hand side. Now it's held together by a really strong magnet. So you have to pop your finger in there, really prise it apart to actually get it open. Now talking of the magnets on the back, they're really strong and they can actually be really useful because you can open this thing up slap it onto a metal object and it will stay and it just makes it a little bit more convenient you can put it in places where you might not usually be able to attach a light without worrying about a tripod or a clamp or anything else once open as i say you do only get access to that bottom quarter inch thread so you can mount on a tripod if you want to there's not much else going on the back other than these two led screens to monitor all of your settings all of your controls are over on the right hand side we've simply got an on off mode button an F wheel, which you can click in as well as scroll up and down, a brightness wheel with hard stops at the top and at the bottom, and then you've got a type C port for charging. Now, as you can see, all the controls are repeated for the top section and the bottom section. I would have liked to have seen an option within the device to be able to control both from one of the panels, but you can't unfortunately have to set everything twice. You can, of course, set them both to be the same or you can set them independently to do their own thing. 
if I turn it on, really simple. You can skip between the different modes just pushing the power or mode button. So we've got the CCT mode, which you can use the F scroll wheel to change the Kelvin. As I say, it's from 2500 to 9000. And then you've got the brightness wheel to change the power output. If we go to the next mode, we've got our HSI. Again, we can click in the F button. We can then pick either the hue, the saturation, and change that as we need to. And then again, use the brightness to change our intensity or our brightness. If we hit mode again, we've got our scene mode, works in a very similar way, we'll cover those shortly. You've also got RGB, you've got your leaf filters, and then you've got your Roscoe filters. Now you can also see you've got your battery meter at the top. Again, they're independent batteries, so you can either use them together to get those 150 minutes, or if you don't need that much power, you can run them one at a time and you'll get combined 300 minutes because you'll get 150 minutes from each. Now you can still use this light when it's plugged in. So you can plug it into a wall and run it off the mains and it will still work while it's plugged in. And that goes for power banks as well. So let's talk about the C mode. I had loads of fun with these. They're really great. I put together a couple of quick skits for you to have a look at. How to become a wizard. Spell number one, fire spell. Ooh, okay. Fire us. Yes. And as you can see, I had loads of fun with them. I think they're great. There's 20 in total. So you've got everything from lightning to a TV set to fire engine, ambulance, police, strobe effects, party effects, all sorts of really cool stuff. Now it's a little bit niche, not everyone's gonna be able to make use of them, but if you like to tell short stories or you do skits, that sort of thing, it could be really, really handy. You can replicate loads of different effects just using a single light to tell a bit of a story. So if that's the sort of thing that you're after, they do work really well and they're really, really easy to use. So next up, we've got the app, which is called Desal or Desal Light. It's available for both Android and iOS. So let's take a look at it, shall we? So here we are inside the app. Connection was really easy. You just click the plus, add the device, find it via your Bluetooth, and then you're good to go. You can see here I'm on my recent and I've got my two individual lights. So I can turn them on and off individually. So if we just turn this light on, we'll open up the screen. First things first, we've got our color panel and we can just go through and select the color we want to. This is the HSI, we've also got RGB, we've got Lee, and then we've got the Roscoe filters at the top. And then we can change the brightness just using the slider along the bottom. If we then go to temp, we can just select our temperature. So we've got 2800K, we've got 4000K, you can enter the, the number in here as well if you want to. And then again, you've got the power, you can just slide that down to adjust the power accordingly. If we go to scene, here's a list of all the different scene modes. So we've got lighting, screen, candle, flash, strobe, heartbeat. If we just select police, for example, we've got a flashing police light that so we can do a minus five in terms of speed, which will slow it down, or a plus five to speed it up. And again, we can adjust the brightness just using the slider. If we go to music, you can play music and it'll sync to it and play along. And then if we go to picture, it pulls up the camera and we can just point this at a color. We've got a color picker. We can then use the color picker icon to select yellow and the light will change color to match. If we change that to red, we get red. If we click on this one here. We can actually take a photo and again, match the color to it. Or we can just go through our gallery to select a photo to pick the color from as well. Now, of course, they're the individual lights. If we go to group, we can then access them as a group and it works in exactly the same way. So if I just turn them on as a group, both come on. And then again, we can just select the colors. We've got the filters across the top. If we just go to scene, we can then turn this to candle and both will work in synchronization with each other. Now, another quick tip, I don't think Falconers are gonna thank me for this, but included in the box is an Allen key. I think the intended purpose is for tightening the bolts within the folding mechanism if they were to come loose. However, take two of those bolts out and you can actually separate the fold into two separate F7 lights. 
you've got two separate lights you can put in two different locations and that becomes even more useful when you take into account the app because you can do it all from there you control the power control the scene modes the settings all from your phone without having to get them out of their location so you can put them in high places low places in lampshades behind curtains if you're filming a scene wherever you want them control it all from your phone it becomes that little bit more useful now i'd have actually really liked it if organized had put a quick release in so I don't think the intended use is to actually undo it and pop them out because there's some little washers in there you need to be careful of. So a quick release would have been really handy. Don't really know how it would work, but if you had the option of attaching it together, using it a single light as it already is, but then a quick flick of a switch, you could pop it open, you've got two separate lights. That would be really cool in my opinion for any future iterations. However, I did just want to give you a quick example, show you how you can use this light when it is stuck together to create some really cool lighting. I've done a quick product shot just using the one light and actually you can get some really great results. Here we've got an action cam set up and I'm currently lighting it from above, but we're gonna turn that off in a second. I've got the F7 fold set up. We've got the honeycomb grid on the one that's set as 5,500K, so just basically a nice even white. Now we've got the other one, no honeycomb. We've just set that one to be a nice purple. That's gonna be a background color. So if we just turn my main light off, and we're just gonna use the grid with this light, get it just out of shot. Because we've got the honeycomb on it, we can just direction the light so it's lighting the front of our subject without really getting too much on the background. I'm pretty happy with that. And then if we just aim the other one at the back wall, and we'll turn that one on. Looks pretty good to me. We then add a slider to get a real quite nice product shot just using a single light. So to conclude, it's a really powerful, really well-built, really handy, versatile little light. It does a bit of everything and everything it does, it does really quite well. However, it is quite expensive at 260 quid. So you need to sort of weigh up whether you want one small light that does an awful lot of things or whether your money would be best spent elsewhere buying multiple lights to do specific jobs. I personally really like the light. It's small enough to just throw in my bag and I really like all the different modes that it offers. It's actually done a really surprisingly good job of lighting this video. It's still set up as the key light just with a diffuser on and it's been running off battery the whole time and it's doing a really great job. Whether it's the light for you, only you can decide, but hopefully this video has given you enough information so that you can make an informed decision. Thanks ever so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up. Any comments or feedback, pop them down below and if you're new here and you did enjoy the video maybe consider subscribing for more thanks ever so much for watching take it easy folks i'll see you next time see ya